you know the guys at Mule? You know, the ones who make them. Roof racks and wheel carriers and back wheel boxes and they're just really clever people. You honestly couldn't meet nicer people. Well, they've gone and done it again. Now, in here, well, there's a prototype, yeah? These are the first ones. Mm. The first ever, ever, first ever, ever ones there has ever been. But they're now going into mass production of them. There you go. What do you think? How good are they? Plastic bags? Mm. They're not just plastic bags. Inside these plastic bags are those boys. Yeah. Powder coated, laser cut, and professionally bent to fit on the bonnet of a crafter, of a sprinter, to mount lights. They are so good. The quality on them is just amazing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fit them and we're going to fit some lights to it. Mm. So, first of all, let's get the bonnet up and I'll show you where they go. Underneath your bonnet, you've got these two bolts. And it's the same on a sprinter and it's the same on a crafter. And what these two bolts do is they keep the bonnet on. Now, this plate is going to fit... I've got the wrong side, bear with me. This plate is going to fit over the bonnet and basically onto these two brackets, making it nice on the top. So, what we're going to do is we're going to crack these two open and we'll fit this and then um, you can see from the other side. When you get them mounted on the bonnet, which will be like that, you don't have a great deal of room underneath to get to and things like that. There is going to be probably close to an inch worth of gap underneath. So you need to obviously make sure that your nut that's going through isn't going to touch your bonnet. Dead simple. So I'm going to mount the brackets on there, then I can see if they need cutting. Right, I have mounted my bracket to the bracket and I've measured it and I've cut the nut down so I know it's not going to hit the bonnet. Right, now we've got to undo the two nuts under there, get this in, there is two sliding posts there so it will slot in and then you just put the nuts back on. You don't need to remove the nuts, you don't need to totally remove the nuts on your bonnet. I can't make that any more clear than I could make it clear. Do not remove the nuts from the bonnet. Loosen them. If you go and take them both off, your bonnet is going to go woo! And you're going to be in a whole world of So, let's loosen them off a bit and we can mount this. Right, so now they're mounted, what I can do is I can just undo the nut underneath and I can just check how the earth moves with it. Right, that to me, that is level, like perfectly level. Right, now we need a light to go on there. And I've got the perfect one. The Orcs Beam Pods. So the Orcs Beam Pods do come with everything you need to fit them. They've also got white chips and amber chips into them as well. And they are literally plug and play. There's different light modes on them as well. You can just have white lights, you can have amber lights, you can also have white and amber, strobe and white, you can also have strobe and amber, and you can have strobe and white and amber. And they are a fantastically designed product as well. Orcs Bean did send us these, so we may as well fit them. They are a brilliant light, and I mean, they are superb. So, that's going to go on there, just like that. Two washers, which you can just casually drop if you want. Weird enough, I picked up three. Right, so let's not worry about the cable for now. Let's just get them mounted. Right, one in. Oh, come on, will you? Work with me. Got it. Got it. Now, the first person I seen with these on the bonnet was Alex Frude, and I was very impressed. How good does that look? Right, pop the bonnet, because we need to um, wire that in somewhere, don't we? Right, now, underneath on this plate, you'll see there's two little slots. And if you can't see, I will show you them there. One there, and there's one there. They're going to be 
for your cable ties. Hmm. So we're going to get one cable tie through there and one cable tie through there. Just like that. Then we can bring the cable in nice and neat and tidy. Oh, it's like I'm wearing someone else's hands. Seriously. Right, so don't go mad and pull the cables all the way through like crazy tight. It just so happens that inside there, I seem to have one of them quick fittings for um, an aux beam light. It's as if I knew what I was going to be doing today. That can just sit there like that. Let's cut them off. Now, when I close the bonnet, that is literally just going to sit inside there. I may just put one cable tie. And yes, I know this is the feed for the washers, but I'm not tightening them up. It's basically to hold it there. So I know now when I shut the bonnet, this cable work is going to go into this gap here because Mueller thought to put holes in there to send the cable away from the back of the bonnet so nothing's getting trapped. That's fantastic. Right, now drop the bonnet and have a look at the other side. So you'll see when I drop this bonnet now, this cable, it wants to fall into here. Perfect. Nice and snug and secure and all looking great. Right, get the other one on, then I can wire them up. They're both on and they look fantastic. So what I want to do now is I'll go in the um, van and I'll turn them on. Wire them all up, they all work fine and we'll go through the modes. In fact, let me go and get my phone because it's aux beam things can be done from your phone. So because our lights in the van are running off the aux beam system, you do get an app that connects to them, which is that one there. And you can turn things like the top light on. You can turn things like the bottom light on. And it also means that you can turn things like the light cubes on, which is really good. They are the lights working. Now, they've got quite a few modes on them. Um, they've got, obviously, a yellow mode. They've got a white mode. You can't actually change the modes from the unit. Sorry, you can't actually change the modes from the app, which is probably something they'll bring out soon. But as of now, it's not available. What I'll do is I'll go and shit inside and I'll... Um, I'll show you the different modes because I can do that and still speak to you, which is great. So, the first mode we've got, obviously, is yellow. Then we've got white and yellow, I think that is. We've got flashing, flashing amber, flashing amber and flashing white, white, amber, white and amber, and then back around the house as we go. They are something really good and I do like the amber and obviously depending on where you are and what you're doing depends on what you want. So I think they're great and them little brackets are absolutely perfect. So if you head over to the Mule website or the Mule Instagram you'll be able to get in touch with somebody from Mule and you'll be able to go and um, get yourself a pair. They are brilliant, they are easy to fit, and like you've just seen, it didn't take very long at all. So, thumbs up for Mule. Don't forget, they do do all sorts of other things as well. Roof racks, they do ladders to the side of your van, they do rear wheel carriers, they're now doing rear boxes. Um, they're just, they're doing all sorts of things. They've just brought out another new thing I noticed yesterday, which is like a rack that goes on your inside back door that you can hang like these bags on with the straps on the back. I don't know whether they're called mollies or something like that. Um, but <laughs> they're just forever coming out with new stuff. It's like 
they just can't help themselves but think and make things. So again, head over to them. The ones that we've got will fit the Sprinter and they will fit the Crafter as well. And I'm sure they're gonna be doing other vans as time goes by. I've gotta go now, cause weirdly enough, I've got more lights to fit. Does seem to be becoming a bit of a problem, but you know, more lights the better, I say. Right, going, whatever you do, do it well. See you soon.